Being too lazy to go out for junk food is an example of two negatives becoming a positive. Yeah, I was quite often too lazy to go out and way too lazy to cook. Now I can just say I'm intermittent fasting and peeps don't call me depressed anymore. It's great. I can relate to this. I recently had COVID and I was so exhausted that I couldn't bring myself to go outside and smoke. Now I haven't had a smoke in three weeks. And then DoorDash and other alternatives popped up and it's easier than ever. There is a point when eating fast food is healthier than not eating at all. Once there were stairs between me and the kitchen, I lost 80 pounds. Then I moved into a studio apartment and gained it all back. I realized I eat too much junk food so I decided I would start cooking for myself. Does anyone here know how to McNugget a chicken? But then you realize you can order it so you get both negatives instead of one. But you are usually also too lazy to cook if you are too lazy get food from outside. Me last night. Had me a little smoke and decided I couldn't be bothered getting takeaway. I made a home-cooked pasta dish instead. Stoned logic. Being lazy to go out for salad is an example for negative and positive becoming a negative. Not being lazy to go out for junk positive and negative becoming a negative. Not being lazy to got for salad positive and positive becoming positive. Life is a XNOR gate. Yeah but then I don't eat at all which is arguably worse so IDK homeboy. This really depends. Even McDonald's is better than not eating at all or stuffing a handful of shredded cheese in your mouth. Not that anyone would do that. If you reach the point when you can't be bothered to even perform pleasurable activities you should just get an ADHD diagnosis mailed to you. So true I often think I want take out junk food, but my common sense sways my, yeah, there's Grubhub, etc., but my finances and the outrageous costs of delivery tip sway that. Suddenly you remember it's 2022 and you can order them on your smartphones and they'll be delivered to your doorstep. Unless you have literally no food in your house. Then it's a negative because you'll starve. Eating something is better than nothing. As long as it's actual food, not poisonous, and not something you're allergic to. Until you turn it into a triple negative by ordering delivery. Same as my lazy ass not shaving and generating a beard to hide my double chin. Not if I don't eat though neutral face which is more likely than me cooking healthy food. Living without soda or junk food was a miserable existence for a while, but I don't regret it. I'm 30 and for the first time since high school, I'm just barely overweight. This only works if you don't have Uber Eats or similar in your area. I get too lazy to cook and resort to going out to buy food it's a problem. Not if you stay in and order takeout from the same place. Two negatives then become three negatives due to the additional cost. No worries, a few taps on my phone and it's on its way to my house. When I was in college, it was very usual for me to be too lazy to go out and buy cigarettes, so I just didn't smoke until I go past a grocery store next time. Procrastination can be used against tons of negatives actually. Overeating, smoking, drugs, video game addiction, gambling, etc. Just tell yourself you're gonna do it later after you did this other thing like studying that you'll never do anyway. I lost weight while studying overseas cos vegetables were cheap and I stocked up on corn, eating out was a luxury and my cooking was usually roasted vegetables I tossed in an overnight, or microwave steaming. Used a microwave Tupperware thing I bought for $2 from Daiso that steamed stuff in the microwave. Got hungry, put corn cob in microwave steamer and steamed it, add salt, tod a quick lunch and or dinner. Why is not eating junk food a negative? In this scenario the person did one negative thing which is being lazy which resulted in a positive outcome. Except that in those situations I normally just make a huge bowl of pasta with cheese and ketchup. Absolutely right I should really congratulate myself every time I'm too lazy to go out to get McDonald's and order it with delivery instead. That's how I've stopped smoking. 
couldn't be bothered to get more SIGs. And then you realize DoorDash exists and you order it anyway for a much more inflated price. So if you toss in DoorDash for junk food instead, but then your card gets declined, is that a quadruple negative resulting in a positive? Maybe before delivery, this was true. Now, it takes three negatives. Being too lazy and broke to go out for junk food. I'm overweight, but if not for the truth embodied in this shower thought, I'd be grossly, morbidly, tragically, deathly overweight. I'm surprised this got a lot of negative feedback. Sometimes, you just want a bag of chips, and not having it at home is a great way to stop yourself. It's how I lost seven pounds in the past two months by only cooking and actually going through my pantry. Essentially how I skipped breakfast sometimes. Too lazy, or maybe phone addle to get up and out of bed. This is just like that whole thing of why putting snacks away somewhere a bit harder to reach in the pantry rather than right out in the open generally means you eat less. I feel that way about delivery and the new methods of it. I've never used DoorDash or Grubhub or any of it, mainly cause it's expensive and easier for me to just drive three minge teas. I was once too lazy to wash towels so I went to the gym to swim and shower instead. Anyone else frustrated that it's hard to find food delivery that's not Uber Eats or something like that? I miss restaurants delivering their own food. I'm so lazy I stopped getting junk food delivered when I moved into an apartment complex with a locked gate so I would have to go downstairs to receive it. I am too lazy to blow the World Trade Center today, maybe tomorrow. I have a good system. If I don't want to walk or cycle to get fast food, I don't get it. I never drive there. Fast food and junk food is a treat. Not a replacement for meals. I can relate to this too. This morning I was too tired to get up to pee so I pissed the bed instead and now I'm finally washing and changing my sheets. Grinning face. Live right across the street from a gas station so I could be getting stuff there every day but I'm too lazy to bother so I end up saving money by not going. Unless instead you order junk food, which makes it three negatives. Why go out? Do you don't have delivery to the doorstep service? This was me last night, I ended up baking salmon I had already defrosted and making veggies. Lazy for the win. I would like to thank holiday traffic, I couldn't have done it last night without you. A lack of a negative isn't necessarily a positive, it could just be nothing. Yeah but that means you're too lazy to go get food at all. Which means you starve. It's not a net positive at all. That's the reason I quit smoking. It was a half hour round trip by car to the closest convenience store and was too much of a hassle. In my area its delivery fee is cheaper than go out myself. Still junk food is not my favorite choice, once in a while is tasty but not too much like three time a week. I sometimes think about how I could go out and buy some ice cream but then think is it really okay to go out?